it is also a one mark question these these are one mark straightforward questions this is basic uh, textiles so if you know the basics then you can easily answer these questions there is no kind of special mathematics or special kind of concepts is required uh, the ingredient that is not used in the sizing formulation is starch polyvinyl acetate polyvinyl alcohol and polycarbonate so what a sizing sizing is used in the weaving machine to facilitate the weaving uh, in the formation of the fabric where warp and weft are interstices and they form a fabric woven fabric so the mm, formulations and sizing so sizing ingredients basically are starch maize cmc carboxymethyl cellulose polyvinyl chloride polyvinyl alcohol corn potato etc so if you notice in all these things that i have said just now polycarbonate does not come and polycarbonate is not used in the sizing ingredient why this is not used as a sizing ingredient because in all polymeric compounds the chain the idea is to maintain a straight kind of chain that facilitates the sizing process but polycarbonate due to its complex structure it does not it is not used in the sizing formulation whereas starch or corn cmc is used and it forms a layer that and that is used that is lubricating layer and it facilitates during the weaving process now coming to the next question the machine that uses horn gears is warp knitting circular braiding sectional warping shuttle loom so if you have read about the horn gears it is used in circular braiding machine and in uh, it in horn gear is a part of the circular braiding machine which consists of two horn gears and three bobbins two horn gears and three bobbins so you should also remember the parts of the machines the the individual functions of each machines the basic rules of every machine the important parts and their functions as well so it will also help these types of questions are generally asked in recent gate the textiles because the in the textiles what they basically check is your understanding deep level of understanding is required so you should focus on these types of questions as well for your next coming gate examination so coming to the next question a yarn is unraveled from a woven fabric specimen of 1 meter cross 1 meter size if the length of the straightened yarn is 1.1 meter then the crimp percent in the integer is then the original length is 1 meter and the straightened length is 1.1 meter so what is crimp percent crimp percent is the difference between the straightened length and the original length so if we write in percent it becomes straightened length minus original length upon original length into 100 then it comes out to be 0.1 upon 1 into 100 it is 10% so this is a one mark question and it is easily a direct question you just need to know what is crimp percent how to calculate crimp percent it is based upon the original length always and it is the difference between the straightened length and the original length so coming out to the next question in a projectile loom the energy is stored in a torsion rod just before picking is proportional to r ki power n if r is the radius of the torsion rod then the value of the n in integer is this is a direct formula asked in a numerical type of question if you know that in a projectile loom energy is stored is is equals to 
पाई डी की पावर फोर एल अपॉन जी सो इफ यू नोटिस दैट वट इज डी दिस इज अ डायमीटर एंड इफ यू रिप्रेजेंट डायमीटर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ रेडियस देन इट बिकम्स ई इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू इन प्लेस ऑफ डी वी कैन राइट एज टू आर की पावर फोर तो ई इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू टू की पावर फोर इन टू आर की पावर फोर एंड इट इज रिटर्न एज इट इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू आर की पावर एन सो कंपेयर इट विद एन एंड इट एन कम्स आउट टू बी फोर दिस इज अ डायरेक्ट कंपेरेटिव स्टडी दैट इज आज फ्रॉम द न्यूमेरिकल this is a direct formula you just need to remember for a projectile loom this is a one mark question so do take care of these types of questions as well now coming to the next question this is also a assertion reason kind of question in this question the assertion is given as as compared to a parallel wound packages ring bobbins exhibit lower tendency of slug off during unwinding and the reason that is given as the main winding layers in the ring bobbins are separated by cross winding layers so it is a two mark question so you need to understand what is slug off what is the function of parallel wound packages or uh, what is the function of ring bobbins what is winding layer what is cross winding you need to know these terms clearly so what is slug off slug off is a defect that occurs during an unwinding of a package a bunch of coil slips and this uh, and this is kind of defects occurs during the unwinding process where a coil slips the layers gets de uh, um, not arranged properly in a proper manner and it result in a uh, defect called slug off and what is the outcome of the slug off it uh, results in an excessive yarn wastage and uneven die pick up in case of our die packages so uh, this is the typical meaning of a slug off defect so what uh, the reason is given in parallel wound packages matlab yarn packages are arranged parallelly and the ring bobbins exhibit lower tendency of slug off बिकॉज ड्यूरिंग अ पैरल वाउंड पैकेज द स्लग ऑफ टेंडेंसी दैट इज द टेंडेंसी फॉर क्वाइल स्लिपिंग इज वेरी लो ड्यूरिंग द पैरल वाउंड पैकेजेस इन अ केस ऑफ रिंग बॉबिन सो द एसर्शन इज राइट एंड वॉट इज द रीजन द मेन वाइंडिंग लेयर्स इन द रिंग बॉबिन आर सेपरेटेड बाई क्रॉस वाइंडिंग लेयर बिकॉज when the yarns are when the uh, yarns are arranged in a cross winding layer as you have seen in a typical uh, during the flying of a kite we uh, we yarn we wound yarns in a bobbin uh, generally typically um, in a cross winding layer so during cross winding layers the tendency of the defect becomes low so the reason is uh, quite simple and this is the correct reason so both the assertion and the reason are true and reason is the correct and r is the correct reason for assertion so option a would be the right answer it is a two mark question it is given that consider the following statements for a shuttle loom having linear straight line displacement profile for the picker so they, these are four statements given and you need to find what is the correct statement and then answer the options correctly so the first statement that is given as p it is said that the maximum actual acceleration of a shuttle depends on loom speed and the elasticity of the picking system second one is the maximum actual velocity of the shuttle depends upon the loom speed third the maximum actual acceleration and the maximum actual velocity of the shuttle occurs at the same time and last one is nominal displacement of the shuttle is inversely proportional to the angular movement of the crank shaft so for this you need to know ki what is the meaning of uh, shuttle velocity and how it is interrelated therein uh, this is a basic conceptual type of question uh, there is no numerical you need to understand what uh, the things are and what are the basic concepts related to the shuttle loom and shuttle velocity in a uh, fabric manufacturing process so if you know that shuttle velocity 
for shuttle velocity <coughs> shuttle velocity uh, v is equal to 6n r plus l upon theta so uh, where n is the loom speed and theta is the uh, difference between the what is the angle and the which it is located and uh, so you have seen that the velocity is directly proportional to the loom speed v is directly proportional to n so option q is correct and also option uh, a what is uh, given that the maximum actual acceleration and the acceleration also depends upon the loom speed and el elasticity so uh, acceleration velocity is dependent upon this and so the acceleration dv upon dt matlab acceleration is change in velocity per unit time so if velocity is dependent upon uh, loom speed then the maximum acceleration is also dependent upon this so option p is also right and talking about uh, uh, the maximum actual acceleration and maximum actual of the sh uh, shuttle occurs at the same time no this is wrong they do not occur and because at the maximum actual acceleration and maximum actual velocity do not occur at the same time because they may vary depending upon various functions that is r read length and the, uh, so many other factors are responsible so they do not occur at the same time and option last option nominal displacement of the shuttle is inversely proportional to the angular movement of the crankshaft this is also not correct so option p and q are correct you also need to know this is an important formula many times uh, numerical questions are asked directly from this questions n r l theta all is given you need to find what is the uh, actual velocity of the shuttle so option a is correct consider the following components of a needle so these are the uh, basic components of a needle that is given and what is asked p shank beard barb latch the combination of correct components of a needle in a needle punching woven non woven machine is so what are the basic correct com components of a needle in a needle punching machine so what are the you need to find what are the uh, correct components so it is a two mark question from a non woven needle punching machine so uh, you need to know what is the basic functions of all these things so uh, in a needle punching machine the two components that are used are uh, shank and barb so what is shank so shank is the thickest part of a needle that is fitted directly in a needle board so it is a shank option p is correct and what is barb so uh, barb needles are punched vertically through the web and to hook and uh, entangle the tufts of the fibers that are arranged in these so uh, these are barbed uh, barbed are needles that are arranged vertically matlab these are arranged in this kind of positions through the web web is a non woven web non woven web these are they punch directly uh, to the hook and uh, in this type the fabric non woven fabric is formed so shank and bar p and r is correct so option d is the cor correct option now uh, coming to the next question in a multiplicative type tensioner the angle of warp is 90 degree and the coefficient of friction between the yarn and the guide is 0.2 the angle of warp is 90 degree that means 90 upon 180 that is pi by 2 in radian all these angles are kept in radian in solving these types of question if the input yarn tension is 10 centi newton the output yarn tension in centi newton is if you have read about the type of tensioner in multiplicative type of tensioner you know the formula that t2 is equal to t1 e ki power mu theta mu is the coefficient of friction that is given as 0.2 so what is given just write the things that are given mu as 
theta as pi by 2 and t1 as 10 centinewton. Just keep these formulas in this unit and you will find the answer. 10 centinewton into e ki power e is exponent. So e ki power mu means 0.2 into pi by 2. So it will come out to be 10 into e ki power 0.1 pi. Write the unit of pi as 3.14. So e ki power 3.5 write unit as 3.14 into 0.1 it will come out to be 0.314 if you will solve this using calculator it will come out to be 10 into 1.368 unit you can easily solve using this calc in the gate calculator that is provided on the um, gate examination so the answer is 13.68 centinewton what we do it is the right answer but it is not the right answer since it is asked in one decimal place then the right answer is t2 is 13.6 centinewton so 13.6 is the right answer i think you have understood the concept behind this so now coming to the next question so in this question it is said that a take up motion is shown below the number of teeth on gear a b c d and e are 60 20 40 25 and 50 respectively the circumference of the take up roller is 40 centimeter if one tooth is broken on gear b then the wavelength of the fault in the fabric in integers is uh, one tooth is broken here one tooth is broken and if the circumference is given at out to be 40 centimeter then we can say that 2 pi r is 40 it is given now since b is taking four rounds 2 pi r is 40 and at the same time c will take two rounds and since one tooth is broken at b C, D and E will disturb four times as equivalent as it passes from one to another. Disturbance is transferred to the uh, one roller to the another roller. That means that if the circumference is totally 40 centimeter and one tooth is broken here, then this is, this can, 40 can be said as four times disturbance and if it is four times into let's suppose the wavelength is lambda 40 is equal to 4 into lambda then lambda is equal to 10 then the wavelength is wavelength is said to be 10 centimeter I think you have understood the concept behind all these things that the disturbance is transferred to the roller from one, from one roller to another roller then thereafter therein and thereafter these are transferred so in this way uh, this is a typical explanative and a conceptual question this is not totally a numerical question all these things you do, do not need to know but you just need to know what is the basics behind the roller when the tooth is broken then which type of disturbance takes place and how it is transferred therein and thereafter so coming to the next question